So I will show you how to uh, very quickly activate Adobe Fonts if you are a Creative Cloud subscriber. Okay, in this particular example, you can notice I have this document that has this type that's actually has a background, an orange background. And when I tap on it, I can see the name of the font is called a body MT Pro. It's light, um, but there are brackets around it, which basically means it knows what the font is, but we don't have it in the system. Okay, so here's how you solve that problem very quickly. What you want to do is you want to go to um, adobe.com slash fonts. I'm already there. Make sure you're logged into your account. So, and, and, and I'm already there. I just wanted to set this thing up to, to expedite matters, but you want to go to adobefonts.com or adobe.com slash fonts. Um, and then what you're going to do is you can search for the font that you want. I'm, again, I'm already here. You can type in the information here in the search bar. And it's, as you can see, I have a body. Here it is. And it is not activated. So what you want to do is, as you can see, there are several weights of this font. But if you want to quickly activate the entire family, you tap on this in the upper right-hand corner. You tap on Activate Fonts. You'll see it'll tell you the different um, the different versions. Tap on the button. You'll get a prompt that says it has been activated. You will actually see the actual the buttons are blue, which means that they're not activated. And then what will happen now is when you go back to your document, what's going to happen now is, voila, it has updated. So now what you want to do, if you should ever either open a, 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 a document or you create a document and you either want to add fonts or you need to actually um, update fonts, that's what you do. You go to adobe.com slash fonts, search for the missing font and then basically activate it. So that's how you activate fonts. And you have to be a Creative Cloud subscriber.